Shavad Bhagwankar. I'm the founder and CEO of Curative Media. And here with me is Aarti Bhatt. She is a co-founder in the company. The name of our product is Curadio, simply satisfying curiosity. It's an audio first platform. It's an interactive platform. What we're trying to do is build beautiful learning experiences using voice and technology, as I mentioned, and also using storytelling as a medium. What we're doing is we're actually building a platform which is a world encyclopedia. Okay. A world encyclopedia that's being built in India for the world and it's being uh, in, in done in a manner where our content goes global. Sure. Not just for India. And so it comprises of, our, of various uh, streams, right? From science to technology, engineering to uh, mathematics. And you can choose. Yes, you can choose. Quite so, a one. Yes. So I'd like to begin our presentation by showing you rather make you listen to a small story that we created. Allow me to play the Thank clip. You. So for a maximum experience, we just request you if you could just close your eyes while the audio is playing. Okay. Because this is not a visual format, this is an audio format. Sure. And it's best heard with, you know, headphones. Absolutely. So when you close your eyes, you imagine the story in your mind. And that's we, that is what we want children to experience. Lovely. Sure. They make their own pictures in their mind. Excellent. Shivaji Maharaj and Shaista Khan. To tell you the truth, my buffaloes are no ordinary animals. They are super beings. And this is a story about how proud they made me feel. That day, I was surprised to see so many troops near my house. One of them walked to me and asked, Do these buffaloes belong to you? Oh yes, they do. Is something wrong? Shivaji Maharaj needs your help. Maharaj needs my help. What can I do? You can help us to drive away Shaista Khan. Will you join us? Can you, have, can you play some Thank other you. one? Some other category, some other genre? Yeah, I'll play this. Do you know what's common between humans and dolphins? Not just dolphins, but also cats, elephants, squeaky sounding bats, and a lot of other animals. They all belong to the family of mammals. Yes, mammals. But what is a mammal? How do you recognize one? What is the age group for this particular voiceover? This one? Yeah. This would be around class 4. And uh, will they be able to understand the vocabulary that is being used here? So we've uh, tried it, tested it. It's fine. That's not a problem. Okay. So the age group basically varies from uh, say maybe 4 5 years till uh, 11 years. And you have maximum content between what to, what years to what years? It fits uh, with, between this age group. So. So it's a 6 to 14 year age group that we have identified for right. whom we are making these stories of whom the product will be uh, appealing. Uh, and then in that 6 to 14 year age group, there are various slots like 6 to 8 would be a certain age slot for whom we are creating that kind of stories will be easier. 8 to 10 will be slightly more complex, complex. 10 to 4 or you know, 10 to 12 will be. So that's the age group, how we are going about telling our storytelling. And how do you uh, verify this will be the accurate uh, duration for um, right attention span of the child? Yeah. So there are two uh, ways to do that for us. One is how do you want to tell the story? For example, this is a mammal. We cannot. It's a it's a short duration story, which is not more than two minutes. The Shivaji Maharaj story that you heard was like around six to seven because we we wanted to create like a fictional story, merge it with facts and create that. So that range around seven minutes. This one, there is no story to be told. There are no actors required. So we keep it short. We keep it probably around two, two and a half minutes. Just take an actor or narrator, basically make it to the point so it becomes easy for them to understand and then respond. So let's do it this way. So, yeah. I mean, you know, straight away before jumping on the product, tell us something about you, your background, where you come from, your journey. How did you arrive on this content, some kind of research right. that you did? And then we'll take it up from... There, I think we'd love to know a little bit more about sure. you. Yeah. The journey for this product actually began, the idea I've had for many years, uh, I think like anybody else, I'm just driven by curiosity. I like to know about things around me, why they work in a certain manner, why they don't work in a certain manner. And I've been thinking about that idea for many years. But what really crystallized this idea into making it a product was uh, my interactions, our interactions with our son, which is children. Children are basically very curious by nature. 
they are curiosity driven human beings they want to know about things they want to find out about things that's a quality that's across the board whether you are a child who's staying in india or a child who's staying in the us for example now when i start and as he was growing up he started asking us questions sometimes we'll be able to find those answers sometimes we would not be able to find those answers but what got clear is curiosity drives them and i started looking around to see that how can we make this as a way of living so why not comics why not books why not an audio visual right It, what's your take on that yeah so the other part of the problem that we were trying to address is this the saturation that's slowly setting in into parents it starts with addiction actually because as soon as a child is born and you're not keeping busy you are like actually having a device in his hands you keep him busy because that's what he's supposed to do but that actually slowly leads to a sort of an addiction and then this is going to be another device right or yes, an app it's a device but here we we are saying that um, you know because it's auditory your visual senses are not that occupied you are getting to hear the story tell me about the roles and responsibilities which you both have together in this business quickly i look after uh, content creation creative aspects strategy of the product and operations um, and i look after sales and marketing i've got a third co-founder who's not here uh, he looks after the music and the creative aspect the sound aspect the engineering aspect which is about building the sound experience the audio experience so it's a combination of us three which is and you're doing this for how many years we've been doing this for the last 3 years 3 years yes what is attraction we've got around over uh, 10000 downloads of stories we so we didn't release it 3 years back we okay. released it maybe like 8 months back and we got like 10000 downloads of our stories stories From where? uh all, all across various uh, um you know spotify apple uh, google amazon uh, amazon it's combination of all this uh we've got listenership from over 60 countries the us being the largest to the smallest being chile uh cambodia all these smaller countries africa all these big what so is the business model so we started doing licensing we started making revenues from that medium uh and currently we're looking at uh our next leg is to tie up with schools so that activity is already started we're discussing we've got a good uh a reception or a good feedback from them they are very willing to actually tie up with us uh, actually in bombay there are many schools which have already started using audio as a very specific yes. experience where they actually play it and get children to uh, get them uh, to go through activity sheets publishing sheets and they actually do an activity and there is a commercial uh, transaction which is happening between the school and your company yes yes okay and how many companies have we spoken about the licensing or the service kind of so our content is available in the us right now uh, a major distributor that supplies our content to some 80000 libraries and it's available in some 100 odd countries so uh, worldwide what happens is the it gets the content gets distributed across countries so and that's you have copyrights on all the content it's our copyright Complete, your copyright yeah, yeah. entirely so we well. so we have a model right now what we doing we are producers we then will become publishers and then we'll become distributors that's the game plan that we have so in producers we have the copyright for everything that we do then we'll tie up and then you know the revenue model will evolve as we speak which will become publishing which means that I'll tie with say amar chitra katha as we go along for uh, distributors would mean that if somebody has an audio and they want to get a platform to distribute their content then we by default become that so that we because we are in the kids space and then we take revenue revenues out i'll tell you my two bits here sure. how you can do the best of it yes. is as far as i analyze yeah. one of you represent the b2b part of the business so that the money keeps coming in sure sure and the other one represents the b2c part of it so that you can build separately yes thank you right yeah, yeah. Uh, there is no interjection between the two because you also need revenues at the end of the day in the company right right uh with the other one you will not be able to chase revenue very uh, uh you know in in haste right. you might fumble yes. right uh second is i think uh, merchandising and events is something that you can do once you're established yourself as a brand in sure. the b2c space right. right right i don't think you have to do everything on the go uh third you should also consider the point that ai is coming very strong in these segments right. like there are automated visuals and audios right. and p- perhaps you have artists who are doing right. it uh but what are you going to do well, how are you going to upscale the tech side of it uh in the coming future even in the b2b space is something that you need to yeah. ponder upon sure. i'm giving food for the thought here yeah. and uh, uh yeah i think uh, that's that's my two cents that you know keep it separate 
keep the channel running yeah. and focus on the B2C part beautifully because it has a lot of other spaces. So Thank tell you. me some numbers, revenue, subscription model. So we've just started making revenues from licensing. As I said, it's not too much. We just started making two months back. It's around uh, $500 is what we've started making. Okay. And we see that growing because our content so is work? So if I want to get something made, you charge for that and you make a particular type of content or <clears throat> so many hours or minutes of content, how does that work? So the services would be very simple. If you would have a story at your end that you would like to make, then uh, we would make it for you and then we'll charge a fee for it. Right. Uh, so how the, much is that fee? Uh, that can range from 20 to 25,000 rupees. Uh, it can be cheaper also. For how much time? Uh, roughly around three, four minutes. Three, four uh, minutes. It can so that be, is with this music and yes, whatsoever everything, we did. Yes. Uh, okay. The licensing is very simple. We do because it's our content and we are trying to monetize it. Uh, across various platforms. That's where the licensing fee comes in for us. If you create an IoT device with your content, instead of making an app right. or putting it on other stores, right. which is absolutely yours, right. and it can be controlled by parents sitting anywhere across the world, and that can Very be your IP, sure. including the IP on the content. Yeah. That is a product in itself. Right. Sure. And that is easy to scale, easy to sell, and will help you grow very, very fast. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think it's a, it's a great idea for sure. Right? Yeah. And But at the same time, it's a matter of choice that we make. Huh, I'm just giving it yeah, yeah. out to you. Because then you have something that's very tangible. Sure. sure. And which can be sold in toy stores. Yes. And Absolutely. you can probably have both. Yes. yes. And we can help you build that. Oh, no, but yeah. we can help you build that. That's a great, great idea. idea. So, you know, you have a बहुत संक्षिप्त में आपको yeah. पूरा समझाया मेरे ख्याल से पिछले तीन साल में आप जो कर रहे हैं हो सकता है आपने वो विजुलाइज भी कर लिया हो कि कहाँ का आप अच्छी तरह से कर पाए हैं कहाँ चुके हैं तो वी आर ऑलवेज अवेलेबल ये बहुत अच्छी बात आपने बताई मुझे लगता है कि आजकल जो दादा दादी और नाना नानी की जगह है वो तो कहीं ना कहीं आप इसको फील कर रहे हैं क्योंकि तो आप जो काम कर रहे हैं वो कमाल का काम है और मैं चाहता हूँ कि आपकी बात और आपकी प्रोडक्ट घर तक घर घर तक पहुँचे Please share some stories. I don't I have kids, to. but I would love to hear myself. <laughs> I enjoy. I read. I yeah. go through a lot of audible. Thank, Thank you so you much so for much. your valuable feedback, and it was a pleasure standing here speaking to you all. So fine people. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure. Thank you so Amazing much. Amazing couple, inspired. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much.